Very good morning on this beautiful Friday morning. It is uh, Pen You Well, the Black Pen. Just gonna hit you guys with a very brief or very quick uh, current affairs news. The first one being that we now have a new premier in Gauteng, Panyaza Le Sufi, who was the MEC of education. Very popular, very loved, especially among, amongst parents um, because he was such an effective um, education MEC in Gauteng. A lot of people actually thought he was the Minister of Basic Education in the country. But that's not the case. This article is from ewn.co.za. Gauteng's newly elected Premier Panyaza Le Sufi handed over keys to the province. Le Sufi was elected and sworn in at a special sitting of the provincial legislature on Thursday afternoon. That was yesterday. This article was written on the 6th of October 2022. That was yesterday. By Uno Kanyam Dambo. Newly elected Gauteng Premier Panyaza Le Sufi has been handed the keys to the province following his victory at the legislature on Thursday afternoon, which was yesterday. Le Sufi was elected and sworn in at a special sitting of the provincial legislature on Thursday afternoon. A lot of people don't know. We have parliament, we have national government, we've got provincial government, which has its own mini president called a premier. And that premier has their own what we call cabinet ministers, but MECs. And then under that, your municipality has got its own little government as well, with the mayor being the little president there, and then the MMCs that are under the mayor. Banyaza Sufi went up against the Democratic Alliance's Solim Siman. Uh, please remember that Usoli used to be the mayor of Twane uh, under the DA. 38 members of the legislature voted for Lesufi, while 22 voted for Msiman. Judge Aubrey Litwaba, who preside, presided over the sitting, announced the results. Banyaza Sufi has been duly elected premier for the province of Gauteng. The Sufi's ascension follows David Makura's resignation earlier in the week. David Makura had said that he's stepping down so that a new premier can come, come in and help the province and the ANC begin its campaign for the 2024 national elections in South Africa. After taking the baton, the Sufi vowed to begin work to return the province to its glory days. Make America great again. Make Gauteng great again. He told the legislature that his administration would focus on three key themes. These themes included improving an ailing economy, bolstering the fight against crime, lawlessness and corruption. While he admitted it wouldn't be an easy feat, Le Sufi seemed optimistic he would pick the right executive to back him. The new premier also expected, is also expected to reshuffle his cabinet, set to be announced on Friday. That's going to be today, so please look forward to a new MEC group in the Gauteng legislature. I had unfortunately missed the opportunity to sit with Upanya Zale Sufi earlier this year. He said to do DJ Spoo on the Hustlers Corner. On that day, I was sick as a dog. I think I'd lost my voice. So unfortunately, I couldn't sit with Upanya Zale Sufi. I'm hoping, hoping at some point I can sit with him. Maybe we can speak about some of the work that needs to be done in Gauteng as a province. Speak about the breakup of Gauteng into Tswane, Johannesburg, the Val. Um, I don't know if the Val is called Sidibeng. Um, and then just the different branches, the different mayors, some of the work that needs to be done. Gauteng, of course, is known as like the center of the South African economy and the center of the African economy. Although places like Nigeria are putting their hand up, places like Egypt are putting their hands up. Some of the places in East Africa, like Kenya, are putting their hand up. And of course, Paul Kagame in Rwanda is doing amazing work as well. So it's going to be interesting what Banyaza is going to be doing. A lot of people, like I said, love him. He's created an amazing brand under the education banner but just as a politician as well. As much as his ANC and people hate the ANC and people say the ANC is corrupt, he's seen as one of the better members of the ANC. So we'll see how that goes. We're hoping that David Makura is going to be joining parliament because he's also done a lot of good work in Gauteng and he is loved not only by the ANC, but by a whole lot of other political leaders as well. As you guys may know, we currently have water restrictions in Gauteng. When I speak about these things, I start hearing people reminding us of some of the water issues the Western Cape had a couple of years ago. People are saying that in parts of the Eastern Cape, they've had water issues for years, parts of KZN as well. So as much as Gauteng is complaining now about water restrictions under rainwater, other provinces are saying we've had water issues for years and no one has really come to our aid. Guys, we're going to need to have a conversation. Maybe we let load shedding run for too long, 15 years. Maybe we're gonna let this water thing run for too long if we don't act now. Engage politicians engage people that own the dams in this country and find out how can we resolve the water issue. Electricity, as much as it's seen as a basic need, 
human beings can survive without electricity. In Africa, in South Africa, before the Westerners came with their civilization and their innovations, we didn't have electricity. We had fire, of course, we had basic technology and tools, but we didn't have at the flick of a switch electricity, so we can live without it. However, we cannot live without water. Water is actually a real fundamental basic right. And I remember at some point, one of the leaders of Nestle, the company that does chocolate and baby formula, etc., they were saying that water should be privatized in the world. Very controversial, but he was saying that people take water for granted. And if people start paying for water and it's privatized, we can ensure that they get the, the best, cleanest, uh, healthiest, freshest water. I still do not agree with him. I know that he had a case to state at the time. All I'm saying is we've got water restrictions now and it's very upsetting and saddening. And we need to resolve it so that we're not sitting here 15 years later speaking about how we started having water restrictions. And here we are now where we go maybe days on end without water. And of course, it ends up enriching the people that sell water privately, just as private energy is going to enrich certain people, just as private healthcare enriches certain people. I have started going live on TikTok. Um, I lost my Twitter account. I've been permanently suspended. On Facebook, I cannot go live anymore. I've got a restriction on Facebook. On Instagram, I can't go live anymore. I've been restricted on Instagram. I did go live on YouTube yesterday with Dubongani Chabalala, uh, an amazing human being. Um, we were meant to record an episode for the virtual Nkuku, but we had scheduling issues. So I ended up just going live with him. And I'm hoping to sit with him, whether on the virtual Nkuku or on the panel show and unpack his story. You can check his video in our conversation then. He's got a very powerful, deep story to tell. Gentleman from uh, Limpopo, who's done amazing work in his life, um, in research, traveling, people he's educated, and he's helped as well. But I've started going live on TikTok. I'm hoping to go live every day, if possible, at 7 p.m. in the evening. So if you go to Penuel the Black Pen on TikTok, I think my handle is at God Penwell. Uh, click on the notification bell every day at 7 I'm going to be looking to go live, even if it's just for 10 minutes, just to speak about what's happening. I've started engaging people on TikTok. So unlike some of my YouTube videos, which are not live, which are pre-recorded, you will be able to engage me in real time. I'll read some of your comments. I'll read some of your questions. And I'm hoping that every day there can be a theme. What are we speaking about? Parenting? Are we speaking about money? Are we speaking about politics? Etc. Etc. I hope you guys watch the podcast and chill episode with Rob Hersoff, which came out yesterday as well. Shout out to Mac G. Shout out to Saul and thank you to Rob, such a crazy, crazy timer who's very passionate about South Africa and making this country work. I hope you'll go check that out as well. This video was sponsored by a very good friend of mine that I went to university with, Ubonele Luciti, Ubonsta, who's created a revolutionary app which you can download from the Google Store, Play Store. He's going to be loading it on the iStore with iOS as well. Um, spread love, spread love uh, hyphen now. Is the app and it allows charities to list so that if you are a charity an npo anywhere in the country you can list your charity and then for people that want to do charity work that want to donate money tin foods clothes etc they can go onto that app and they can connect with charities close to them so that they can go and visit them they can go and drop off stuff so that they can donate money you can send an email to info at spreadlove-now.org and the website is spreadlove-now.org uh, the hyphen is the dash, spreadlove-now.org is the website. And then if you go onto the Google Play Store, you can find it. I'm obviously going to drop the links and the details below in the description. But thank you very much to Ubuntu for sponsoring this video. And I really hope I can help ingrain the app and so that we can connect in doing charity work together and making our communities a better place. Congrats again to Panyaz Ali Sufi, the new premier of Gauteng. I'm looking forward to seeing what he has in store for us. Have a great and blessed Friday. I'll catch up with you guys later on TikTok.